Welcome to EpiInfo 7 Training. In this video, you'll get an overview of running an aberration detection analysis with aggregated visit level data in the Visual Dashboard. There are lots of aberration detection algorithms, and EpiInfo 7 is one of the early aberration reporting system, or EARS, algorithms, and more will be added in the future. The data source is counts of healthcare visits by syndrome. I've already loaded the data source as you can see at the top of the page. It's an Excel file called EARS. I'll start by right-clicking on the canvas and navigating to show the data dictionary. The only field required by the gadget is the date. And this data set also has a count and syndrome variable. Now we'll navigate to the aberration detection analysis gadget. I'll right-click Go to Add Analysis Gadget and select Aberration Detection. For this exercise, we'll use Indicator Count and Date. For the indicator, select Syndrome. And of course, Count is Count. And Date is Date. Notice that our lag time is 7 days, and the threshold is 3 standard deviations. We'll talk about that more in a minute. Now I'll run the gadget. I'll minimize the configuration panel. The result is an aberration detection graph for each of the syndromes in the data set. Also, below each graph is a chart that pinpoints the aberrations found in the data. I had mentioned lag time and threshold. So we'll reopen the configuration panel and look at the lag time here, which we set at seven days. And we specified seven days to establish an expected count for the syndrome represented by the dotted line in the graph. Then the actual observed count is represented by the solid line, and of course we needed both for aberration detection. Now for the explanation of threshold. In the first run, we set the threshold at three standard deviations. And if we look at the graph, this red dot represents an aberration. And it's also here in the chart at the bottom. So, if I change the standard deviations, I might find that there are more aberrations. I'll change the standard deviation to 2 and run the gadget. And the lower threshold shows two aberrations, both on the graph and in the chart below the graph. We just performed an aberration detection analysis in the visual dashboard of EpiInfo 7. Thanks for watching, and you'll get more detail in future user support videos.